What's going on, Assassins? It's Stark Shard of the YouTube Assassin, and we start our Taco Tuesday trifecta with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be pretty. So we start off with the daily selection, the Heart Theru front tattoo for 35 opal. Then we have a terrible selection, the Thunderbird Raven skin, which is 150 opal. Then we're looking at the Hold of Folk Sail, which is another 35 opal. Next, we have another tattoo, the Tyrannus Right Arm, 35 opal. The figure, 150 opal for another Raven Skin, the Gothic Hull, 35 opal. And the Bayonet Sword, 120 opal. So, like I said, it was really, really just terrible. I don't know why, once again, we have multiple skins and ship parts and tattoos the daily is no good i'm probably going to wait and see what the next daily will be and in fact make sure you check at the channel every day because i'm going to be doing a short where i'm going to be showing what the daily selection is i just don't see it being worth it to actually do a full one minute video or something like that on that it's just kind of like a waste of time in my opinion so it'll be a short Anyway, uh, our contracts reported missing the Thieves Couple, Boring, and the Richest Merchant, which is also boring. Again, things that we've seen time and time again, these explosive quests are not coming quick enough or fast enough, but we'll do them and I'll show you guys exactly what is involved. For starters, we do the Thieves Couple and all that's involved here is we are trying to take out the guy the man at arms that's here he's here with uh, his mate and of course they're going to be attacked by wolves this happens all the time and uh you know all you really have to do is take out the guy himself you don't have to take out the mate or the wolves if you take out the guy and then check the corpse that'll give you the the quest being uh, completed but you know sometimes you got to take everybody else out so that you could just get to this guy and by the way, speaking of the explosive quests, I know a couple of you experienced the same thing I did where you just went to look for it and it just completed, which was really weird. Anyway, here we go. We got the actual main guy. We're going to check the body. And upon doing that, after it taking forever to do, I'd rather assassinate him because it goes quicker that way. But we'll get... 300 XP and we'll get the five opal for completing the quest after that we have uh, reported missing in which we'll find a captive somewhere in either some kind of fortress a bandit camp something like that and the easiest thing at least that I do is to take out the entire camp that way nobody stops you and you could just run away with the person who was reported missing Sometimes if you don't, the enemies will attack the person or there'll be a fire, something goes on and you'll have to pick the person up, which absolutely sucks. So for completing, we get 300 XP and 5 Opal. Next, we have the Richest Merchant. And of course, what's involved here is us going and finding this one, Jums Vikinger, who's surrounded by three big bodyguards. All you really need to do is take that guy out. If you're able to sneak up on him and assassinate him, it just makes the process a lot quicker. And then, of course, what I like to do is take out the other three guards, only because they have a lot of different lootables. As you just saw, one drop the room. Sometimes they drop silver. Sometimes they drop other lootables. And it's just decent to get some extra XP. Why not? But once you do that, you'll complete this portion and then you'll get another 300 XP and you'll get 20 Opal as opposed to just 5 Opal because, of course, this is supposed to be a weekly. Now, the reason that I do these all in England is because if you do them anywhere else, if you do it in Francia or you do it over in Ireland, sometimes you'll see Reddit only give you one quest, sometimes... You'll have to bounce around and get other quests. And in those other places, it's kind of low XP. And, you know, they give you about 5 XP. I prefer way more, so that's why I do it there. Anyway, it again, it was not a solid week for Retta. I'm very unimpressed with what he's got going on. The Bayonet Sword is 
probably the only thing that he's really got going for him. And that's kind of shameful because he should have a lot more stuff going on. At least one piece of armor, another weapon would be nice. I don't know. Anyway, that's all there is to this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one. You know how we end this. Yeah, yeah.